Hey folks, Crazy Clamor 80 here again, and this time we're going to look at game number 7 in our 20 from 1984 series, and this is the first sequel to Track and Field. Like Track and Field, this has 7 events, and uh, you bash the buttons to uh, make your character run, but this is a good deal harder than Track and Field, I think, and this is called Hypersports. This was created by Konami and received co-credit with Century in the U.S., and yeah, it's it's another uh, button bashing game, and you have a third button to perform a certain action in each event. And uh, see that there is a uh, two run buttons, left button and a right button for running, and you have to alternate bashing them, and then the up button. And the events are freestyle swimming, skeet shooting, long horse archery, triple jump, and the pole vault. And once you complete them all, your game will end. And you can have up to four players playing in this game, but uh, it will be a maximum of two players at once, and they alternate turns with the other two players. But I will just play one player in this game. Yeah, that weightlifting event that we saw earlier in the attract mode, that is the one I cannot pass. And this is the long horse. But in all the events, you have to alternate the run buttons. I think maybe in the first track and field, you only had to just bash one button. Um, but in this one, I believe you have to alternate the run buttons. And there's skeet shooting. And you have to fire at the clay pigeons as they approach the windows. And you can shoot to the left or right. And if you nail a whole bunch in a row, then you can get a uh, bonus um, clay pigeon appearing in the left window. And it'll be worth more points. And we'll get started. My initials. Yeah, one of those rare games where you have to put in your initials first. <laughs> and we'll start with uh, freestyle swimming, and this is easy. When the gun goes off, start bashing the run buttons to build up speed when swimming. And every one and a half seconds or so, he'll surface for a breath. And you'll press the up button to make him uh, catch a breath. Just anticipate him doing that and hit it immediately when he says breath, and you'll easily beat this uh, stage. There are a lot of cool hidden tricks that we'll look at later. And here's skeet shooting. Just fire at the window, left or right, mostly right, as the clay pigeons approach that window. It's kind of easy to panic because the pigeons start coming at you real quick. You can miss you can miss a handful of them it's okay. I have the difficulty set the default difficulty set automatically at uh, um the very end of the normal spectrum so it's almost difficult difficulty. I would recommend you put them you uh, set the dip switches to an easier difficulty. <laughs> But I still was able to uh, beat this. If you get a perfect, if you get all of the clay pigeons, don't miss a single one, then a bird will fly towards the, uh, uh, the squares. And you can shoot it for a lot of extra points. And if you get two perfects in a row, then you'll see a new bird and you can shoot that multiple times. And we'll look at that trick later. Now we're going to do the Iron Horse. Build up speed by alternating the run buttons, and then hit the up button right as soon as you get to the end of the vault. And then, when you get on the Iron Horse, wait until your legs are straight up, pointing straight up, and then uh, press the uh, up button again. And then as you're in the air, hit alternating left and right buttons repeatedly, whoops, 
and you'll do somersaults. But you have to bash them real quick. And you need to do six somersaults. <laughs> uh, at least on this difficulty. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna get enough unless I do six. That's another reason why I suggest that you, uh, change the uh, dip switches to an easier difficulty. And now we move on to archery. Now this is tough. You set the wind directions. Ooh, I got a nice. You really need at least a couple nices. You need an exact bullseye. A couple of exact bullseyes in order to uh, qualify for this uh, difficulty setting. And you hold down the shoot button just a little bit. You want to get yourself at a five degree angle or close. Hold down that shoot button or the uh, uh, up button to fire an arrow. And to start at the very beginning you can select your wind direction by pressing one of the run buttons and you'll need to compensate just a hair uh, by shooting to the left if the wind points down or to the right if the wind points up. But yeah, hold down the uh, the up button to shoot the arrow just enough so that the angle is like close to five. Yeah, this is this is freaking hard. This was, I think this was the first time I ever beat the uh, archery event on the uh, default, oh, got a nice, uh, on the archery def uh, event with the uh, default difficulty settings at the end of normal. <laughs> this is uh, really hard, so yeah, dink with the uh, dip switch settings a bit if you're uh, playing this emulated. If you get... Uh, Every uh, every shot, nice. You will get some uh, new targets, and we'll look at that later. And now we'll do the triple jump. Build up the speed, and now you have to hold down just a little bit with uh, each. Ooh, that was nice. With each uh, jump, hold down just a little bit for the angle to increase. And you generally want 35, 40, and 40, or right around there but your guy will step after each jump. Step. Let him step. That will make him uh, jump further. And yeah, you need to get uh, 15 uh, meters or more on this difficulty setting. If you take too long to step, uh, while you're holding up, holding the angle or whatever, he'll uh, trip and fall. <laughs> but now we move on to weightlifting. I cannot beat this. You can set your, your weight, but it doesn't matter. I can't beat it. You can select it with the uh, run buttons. And here you have to alternate, build up your speed, and you super hard have to bash these. You have to bash them enough so that the weights flash. And when they do, and they're not doing it yet. I'm almost out of energy with that uh, meter dropping down into the red on the left. You only get two chances, but you have to bash those buttons so hard, and I can't do it enough. And when you do it enough, then the weights are supposed to flash. And then you press the up button when they flash. And then he's supposed to be able to uh, raise them over his head. And I couldn't do it. Damn it. I cannot beat this event. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh... He, when he lifts them over his head, you still have to bash the buttons until the uh, three lights show up. And then he throws them on the ground. The weights, not the lights. <laughs> but that's... Hypersports, the first sequel to Track and Field. And we'll see the computer beat the weightlifting event again. And there's those three lights, and he tosses the weights on the ground. But yeah, I cannot beat that. I think I put in a, a cheat here so that I could pass this so that you can see what it's like to beat it. 
<laughs> super, super strength. There is a special bonus if you press both run and buttons right as soon as the weights hit the ground. And we'll look at that later. Some cheerleaders give you some extra points, like a thousand points, I think. And I'll do super heavy weight, just because I'm super roided up or whatever. <laughs> Ta-da! But yeah, you can choose what weight you want to do. Obviously, two of the lightest weights. And now we're gonna do the pole vault. Build up, build up speed with the, uh, oops, alternating buttons. And then you have to get the timing just right as you uh, get right over that the part where you plant the uh, pole vault. You don't want to do it too late. You don't want to do it too early. Then you press the uh, up button and hold it down. And as you get high and close to the bar, then you have to bash all three buttons to, uh, repeatedly to be able to clear that bar. Not just run left and run right, but up as well. Bash them all as you get close to the bar. That will increase your chances of getting over the bar. So yeah, press up. Oops, see I did it too late and I hit the mat. But you start at 570 and you need to get to do uh, 575. Ah, yeah, no, I didn't get high enough. Yeah, don't do it too early, don't do it too late. It's really hard to get the timing down. Boy, that's noisy. I like that the podium magically turns into a bunch of girls that catch you and throw you back up in the air. Ah! <laughs> oh, he still landed. <laughs> Looked like he was going to break his back. <laughs> or, or die, or whatever. And that is all the events for tr uh, Hypersports. And once you beat them, the game ends. And I think in track and field, once you beat all the events, uh, you had to play them all again with tougher uh, uh, qualifying times. But that's Hypersports, the first sequel to Track and Field. There are a number of other sequels. Another great game by Konami. And now here is the trick for swimming. If uh, two players get the exact same time, you will get a turtle appear and you will get bonus points. And I set uh, player one and player two with exactly the same controls, so I controlled both players, thereby in uh, increasing my odds of getting the exact same time with them both. Ta-da! <laughs> and here's the, bon the trick for uh, getting perfect in uh, skeet shooting. And there's the, one of the birds entering the uh, square that I shot for 3,000 points. And here's the other bird if you do it two times in a row. Yeah, you can shoot that bird as many times as you like, or as you can. And now here's the uh, pole vault, or the uh, 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 long horse. If you get off the long horse, and you only do enough of a somersault to land right on your head, then I guess that's a chandelier that popped from the ceiling. Gives you a thousand points or something. And now here's uh, if you get all nices in archery, then you get three apples to shoot at. <laughs> and there's one apple. There's another apple. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter the location on shooting the apples. Just make sure you hit him. And now uh, with the triple jump, I guess if you do uh, 35, 41, and 45, you're supposed to have a jet plane appear for a bonus, but I can't get it to work. And again, with uh, weightlifting, if you drop the weights and press both run buttons right as it drops, cheerleaders appear and give you a thousand points. And with the pole vault, I guess... Uh, 
if you uh, vault with the same speed as you ran, then uh, you get another bonus. I can't do that one either. But that was Hypersports, game number 7 in our 20 from 1984 series. I hope you join me soon for game number 6. Y'all take it easy, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving! I have to work, but that's all right. Have a good one, everybody, and I will see you soon with game number 6. Take it easy, everybody. Bye-bye.